helping out on this video, we're going to come back to my uh, FRM01. It's a uh, programmable relay. Uh, it's timing that you can program it. So the uh, power is off right now. The power supply powers the breadboards and it powers these jumpers right there. So when I turn the power on and it's a little harder to see with the light on. So I'm going to turn the light off. There you can see that the relay is just going to keep switching back and forth. Now I'm going to turn the power off. When I turn the power on, you can see that the relay switches on. And then after a period of time, it switches off. I can program that timing right there. So now I showed how turning the uh, power on starts the uh, process over again. We can also just give a high, so that's the uh, positive voltage there, a high input to this uh, reset pin right there. And you see the process starts all over each time I do that. So now as a demonstration we're going to switch a load. This is a small load that relay can handle up to uh, 10 amps according to the uh, rating there. And this is going to be a few milliamps. But in any case this is going to be a 5 volt load. The uh, relay is a 12 volt relay. That is to switch it. It can handle a lot higher uh, voltage than uh, 12 volts. But uh, in any case we have a 5 volt uh, breadboard power supply here that is powering the LED. There you can see the resistor, the LED. Now I'm going to uh, turn the power on, and there you can see that when it switches, the LED is on. That's because we have it in the normally open position. So it's uh, normally open or off, but then when the relay turns on, then it closes it. It turns it on. So now I move the red jumper from the normally open position to the normally closed position. So that's the relay. There's a uh, three uh, terminals. One is COM and it's either connected to these two which it is when the relay is off. That's why the LED is on now. Or it is connected to those two which I will show when I turn the relay on. The relay is on. You can see that blue light. Then the LED turns off because it uh, switched position. And uh, But when it's switching position like this it needs current through the coil. So it uses power. So ultimately you would set this up to where it is not energized most of the time because that's just wasting uh, current. You can make those adjustments. So now we're going to look at setting this up for uh, number six. That's what we're focusing on in this video. So we got the set button there and then SW1 we have it says uh, NUM plus so like number plus and then number minus right there. And uh, we're going to turn the light off just because it shows up better the display does on camera if you have the uh, power and I have a loose connection or something. That's why it's doing that. There we go. I think we uh, we solved it for now. So there's plastic under here because there's uh, pins underneath. So in any case, we're going to uh, hold down the set button for a bit. And there you can see six. So we're at the uh, six setting. And uh, each number determines, you can go up to 16, what it actually does. So we can go over there and uh, hit a plus or a minus, one or zero on that uh, side. And then over here, we can go up or down that way. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we're going to hit, so you can see the blue up there. Now we're down here. So that's the first timing, depending on what we're doing. So we did uh, five seconds. We can lower it to uh, three seconds. And then we're going to press, uh, we, could, we could add seconds up to uh, 9,999 right there. So. We're going to hit the set again. Now we're at our second timing, as we saw before. And so it's 3.5 right there. We can uh, change this down to 1.5 so that it goes quicker. So now I'm going to hit set again. So this means that uh, 1 is 1 second. And uh, that's for the second one. This is for the first one, 1 second. We can make it so each digit actually takes 9 seconds if we wanted to, or 99 seconds whatever uh, number we're going to do there. So we're uh, not going to go into that uh, too much. But since this is a uh, one second, that's three seconds. And uh, since that's uh, one, that's one second, 0.5. So that's half of a second right there. We could get rid of this decimal point just by holding down that. So now it would be 15 seconds. But we're going to put it back to 1.5 seconds. And uh, that's it. Now. You can see we got the three there, 
and then one and a half right there. And uh, if I hold this down and we take that uh, 1.5, get rid of that, now we hold it down. So we got three seconds there and I'm not gonna draw this out. There you can see we got the uh, 15 seconds there. So I think that pretty much covered. Uh, we can also, right there, I can pause it. So the display is off and uh, I thought it would, uh, hold on. Oh, maybe that just uh, clears the display. I thought it paused it, it doesn't, okay. But in any case, that's it for this video. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.